One of Orlando's most popular venues is gearing up for a long-awaited celebration. Steinmetz Hall at the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts was supposed to open in the fall, but leaders pushed it back due to the pandemic. New 6's Carolina Cardona got an inside look at the new expansion in a story all new at 6. A new theater curtain is getting ready to be raised inside the DPAC. There's a lot of theaters that have either one or two of the three components, but there's not a theater that has achieved the three main elements that we chose to pursue. One is an N1 rated hall. It's perfect sound. Perfect sound for the Steinmetz Hall, the center's third and final theater designed to be a multi-form hall. And so what happens is the architecture completely changes in this room from a proscenium hall to a concert hall. Well, there's one piece of architecture in there that is uh, a million pounds. It's, it's on train tracks, it's, a half, it's 500 tons. And what it does is it moves on train tracks to change the shape of the hall. It's the second theater in the country to use the gala system seating, transforming the theater's wooden flat floor into 22 rows of seats in less than 15 minutes. And the building is actually elevated above hundreds of pilings. This entire building is floating. It doesn't touch the ground. It's floating on isolation vibration pads. The, the 700 pilings set the foundation within the ground. On top of that slab at 43 to 50 feet, there's about 250 so towers. On top of those towers, there's vi sound vibration pads about this thick, depending upon the size of the tower. The opening comes as Central Florida deals with a new surge in COVID-19 cases. The one thing that we're doing is the ribbon cutting is actually outside uh, and we're looking at numbers and we're, oh, we're requiring masks. So then the open house, we think that we're going to be able to space somebody at least this weekend. On Friday, the Steinmetz Hall officially opens and kicks off the return of the Arts Center after it had to shut down in March of 2020 due to the pandemic. In Orlando, I'm Carolina Cardona getting results in News 6. The whole beautiful. train track system is crazy. Mm -hmm.